All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back, finally, to a little more of our hardcore Iron Man as Baron Rolf. So, uh, been a little while since the last episode. I know I say that, say this every time. Ugh, boys, you know. Sorry it took two weeks for this one to come out. Promise it won't be as long on this next one. And then, you know, it inevitably takes another two weeks. But, um... In all fairness, I did warn you guys in the last one that uh, you know, I've been busy with uh, medical school applications, which I'm happy to report I have all my primaries uh, done and in. Um, and so right now I'm just uh, I'm getting, a, getting some of the secondaries back and turning those out, but those aren't nearly as time consuming. So, this time I mean it, it won't be another two weeks in between episodes. Probably. Uh... <laughs> I do have some uh, some kind of important information, important uh, updates for the uh, for the channel. What the plans are for uh, this series and other series. Um, I want to turn this series, this hardcore Iron Man series. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> uh, I want to turn this into a stream series. I've got one or two more episodes, I think, before I can accomplish what I need to. Before I'm ready to make this a stream series. Uh, but the reason I want to do that is, if I'm being honest, Bannerlord has gotten a little stale for me. I, I don't know, I don't know what what you guys are thinking, um, how you guys are feeling about it, but it just feels a little stale. It's not quite all the way there yet, and I think that streaming this hardcore Iron Man would make it far more entertaining. When you guys see every single fight, when there's always the question of, well, when when is the run gonna end? You know. Any, it could literally be any battle. You never know. Um, I think that makes it more entertaining. And just for me, I'm I'm more entertained myself when I'm able to talk to you guys. And second, secondly, uh, it opens up a new slot for me to start doing new series. And I don't want to spoil what we're doing yet, but some of you guys have actually asked for it in the comments. Uh, we're going to be returning to Warband and revisiting a few mods and that's all i'm gonna say for right now because i kind of want to do like a, a teaser video um when it comes to the actual series and, and what mod we're going to be doing but that's that's my tentative plan like i said there's a few more things i want to get accomplished in this before i start streaming this um one of which is get a wife the other which get a castle if we can accomplish both those things today then we might be streaming we might be streaming this by the end of the week. Um, I also want to start streaming The Witcher 3. So it'd be something where I, I, I would hope we'd be able to, I, I'd be able to find like one or two days a week that we'd be able to stream. Uh, that's that's my goal. Um, I'll be honest, I wasn't really paying attention. Holy shit, we're in a siege. This is our first siege, is it not? We haven't done any other sieges this, uh, this series. Well, first time for everything. Um, before we get started, Siri, leave me, leave me alone. I didn't, did I say anything? Sometimes when I say seriously, it, it picks up. Huh, I need to like put you away. Uh, let me double check. What do we have for performance right now? Okay, I did turn it down. We're going to turn the siege down to like 650 just because sieges are a lot more intensive um, than, uh, than land battles. Land battles, we can handle a thousand troops on the field without too much, too much frame rate issues. Sieges, I don't know. So we're going to try 650, see how this looks. Um, and maybe we dial it up in the future. Okay, what do we got here? Auto deploy. Uh, okay, we do have a ram. That's nice. Do we not get a single siege tower? Okay, Durthert. That is a bold strategy, my friend. Hmm. Huh. Alright. Well, let's run it. I'll be honest. Look. What happens happens. We're kind of treating this like a uh, like a training exercise. We're doing this to get a bunch of skill points. Um, we just got the crossbow last episode, I believe, right? The the arbalist, which is such a badass name for a crossbow, by the way. Um, we just got that last episode, so we're trying to train up our skill in that as much as possible, which we should be able to here. Lots of juicy barricades and whatnot. I love to see it. <laughs> the one tap to the head okay I didn't know it was like that we've only got like 30 skill in this 
And we're we're doing that? Okay. Let's finish this guy off. Beautiful. Oh, we're gonna get a bunch of skill points in crossbow and athletics. Oh, that's amazing. Nice, another kill. Alright. Unfortunately, I didn't see any quiver stations, like reload stations on the way here. And most siege maps don't have those. So we might be out of luck on that. But I forgot. <laughs> We're playing as Rolf, the uh, the sociopathic man that wants to rule the world and does not care about other human beings. Uh, we can always just kill our troops to, to take their quivers and, and reload like that. That's definitely an option. Oh, so close, so close. Alright. We gotta be careful here. I don't think we're gonna charge in, if I'm being honest. Um, I think that's just too much risk. We're getting plenty of kills out here. We're getting plenty of uh, XP and skill points. Oh, the, God, the, the headshots are juicy. Horse? Actually, if you're going to provide cover for me, horse, you can stay there. That's fine. Oh! <laughs> what a long shot. 69 meters. Noise. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm looking forward to being back into, into streaming. It's probably going to be later. Hello. Okay. I thought there was no one left on these walls, and I was wrong. Okay, that's fine. We only took 20 damage. We're, look, we've got some good armor now. Not amazing. Not, like, top tier by any means, but we've got some solid armor. Is this... Oh, hello. Wow. A whole bunch of you guys just chilling over there dead. All right. Uh, all right let's take these uh, new challengers out. Fuck. Well, we traded. I did manage to kill him. Okay, the Sturgeons, they're not that great. You know, their bows, not fantastic. At least not their lower tier units. Maybe they're... Their better archers would be more scary, but there's not too many of those in uh, the garrison. Holy fuck. Hello, boys. What? what? So, <laughs> I, I didn't hear the command for everyone to charge in, but apparently they did. All right, time to reload. Hold still. Thank you for your cooperation, soldier. I would, I'm just in need of your... Nope, not your crossbow. Don't actually need your crossbow. Ooh, it's, oh, God, it's like right on top of each other. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh my god, he had so many bolts. Yes. Okay. Oh, wait, we're not reloaded. Let's make sure we're reloading behind here. A stray headshot at this point, I don't think it would take us out. We have a good helmet, but I don't want to risk it either. A headshot and a body shot could possibly take us out, even from these weaker militia uh, units that they have in their garrison. Because you got to remember, there are no lords defending this castle. We're just fighting against the garrison. So, there I mean, these the troops that they have here are not that great. Where are you running? Get back here, boy. No deserters here. All right, well, you should remember that. Uh, can I hit this guy who's manning the Oh, that was close. If I can take out the dude that's manning their catapult, I feel like that'd be pretty big. Keeps on moving back and forth. Doesn't actually seem to be firing much. Okay, we hit him once. Oh my god, 34 damage, that's it? He's pretty tanky. Ah, alright, whatever. We're taking heavy losses here, if I'm being honest. Luckily, our party isn't really. We have 15 kills. That's not bad. But our boys just don't really seem to know what to do. I think it's... Oh, you know what I bet happened? I think our, our ram got taken out. And so now they're trying to just charge the walls when we don't have a siege tower or anything. And it's not going well for them. At all. Hmm. Well, I mean... It is what it is. Like I said, not too many of my guys are, are going down, so I don't... <laughs> it's not... No sweat off my back. If a bunch of our lords lose their troops, then I just seem stronger in comparison. That's the way Rolf looks at this. Hold still. Hold. Oh my god. See, he moves around so much. Come back. Oh no. We're reloading right when it's the... Oh, oh. Here we go. Hold still. Okay. He's a one shot now. One more. One more. No! We hit the post! We've only got four shots left. We gotta save one to kill a... There we go. Boom. We got him. Oh. Uh, got a little scared when I saw a Sturgeon walking our way. Don't mean to be racist or anything, but uh, you know. 
Oh, fuck. I wasn't- I was not in first person mode, so we shot him in the chest. He knows! Oh, he, he's just accepted it at this point. <laughs> Give me that, sir! Oh, hello, come on. Let's go- no, no, not that. Okay, you know what? Throw, throw that down. Pick that up, and then pick his bolts up. Where are your bolts? Are you, what? Dude, where are your bolts at? What do I press to see stuff on the ground? I thought it was control. Evidently not. Alt? Yeah, it's alt. He literally doesn't have any anymore. Okay, well, we only got one shot left to get, uh... To replenish our quiver. There we go. Did we just level up from that? <laughs> I don't know how we leveled up from that, but... Oh, there we go. Quiver is empty. Do we get it? Wait, what? I'm so confused. As to okay, we have 20. That's all that matters. I'm pretty sure we're still using an arbalist. Ah, whatever. Okay. Get back out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to eventually over overwhelm them with pure numbers, but this has not been a good battle. <laughs> In terms of tactics, Durthurt does not know what the fuck he's doing. Which, he's supposed to be like the old and experienced king. Right? I'm pretty sure in lore, that's what he's supposed to be. And he is just failing at that miserably. My man needs to trust Rolf with some more, uh... Some more responsibilities in terms of, uh, battle tactics. I could have done way better. It's not like we're under threat, either. Oh, what a shot. It's not like we were under threat and had to rush the siege. There's no reason why we couldn't have had, uh... Siege towers... Like, this isn't like some tiny castle. This is a this is an actual town. I feel like we should have taken this a little more seriously, even if we outnumbered them as heavily as we did, because clearly we're paying the price in terms of casualties for it. Alright, looks like our boys are finally getting in. Um, oh, More than anything, the AI just doesn't know what they're doing. Look at this. They're not... They're not walking up. They, they should be trying to climb those ladders, like, in mass. And they're just not. Okay, we're getting some good kills here. Get a lot of good kills. Twenty six. We've killed like a quarter of, not quite a quarter. We're responsible for close to a quarter of the, uh, the enemy casualties. As a single man. And as much as I'd like to say that's because Rolf is is just a badass, it's not really the case. It just shows how poorly we're doing. Oh no, they broke it. They broke through the gate. Well, eventually, I guess. Actually, no, yeah, they broke through the gate. Why have we been doing so poorly? Thank God this was such a lightly defended town. Otherwise, we would have lost, like, the entire army. It's like the AI just has no idea what they're doing. I never sieged this castle in, um... In, uh... <laughs> we just gained a tactic skill. <laughs> Rolf is learning. Holy shit. Okay, don't do what he did here. <laughs> don't make the same mistakes Durther did. Oh, I thought that guy was going to pop out. Alright. Stop. Stay still and try to shoot at one of us. Stop moving around like that. Ah, whatever. Okay. See if we can make it in. It's pretty much a wrap at this point. It's been a success. We lost 12 troops. Okay. Not, not the end of the world by any means. Oh, here we go. Get a few. I want him. Damn it. All right, didn't quite get him. We win. Hey. Holy. Good job, boys. All right, that's a good amount of influence for how many kills we got there. Our boys. Dude, my God, we did, like, most of the heavy lifting. I make up less than 10% of this army. Closer to, like, 6% of this army. And we've got... Huh, what? What is this in total? A third of the kills? Jesus. It's pretty embarrassing if you ask me. Alright, who, who all did we lose? We lost... 12 troops? Okay. Not not awful. And we've got plenty to replace them, so I'm not worried about that. Let's get these spearmen. Hell yeah. Oh, get back over here. What? Recruit. Hey. 
Why don't you let me recruit? There we go. Okay, that was weird. What are some other good ones we can recruit here? Uh, mercenary guards, Sturgeon soldiers, hunters. What are we up to now? Okay, four more. Hmm. Are you actually wait, a militia spearman? Probably not. Okay. Is that four? Yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, 18 prisoners. You should be able to get most of them. I mean, a lot of these guys are just garbage, but that's okay. Oh, fuck. That's all we can hold? Really? Hmm. We'll do that. How much money are we getting here? Eh. Should be a decent amount. I mean, that's more than anything. Just the influence we got for that and all the XP we got has been uh, worth it. Okay, hold up. Leave army for right now. By the way, we're... Oh, they're inside. Okay. Am I crazy? I feel like we could make a move for some of these dudes. Look how weak they are. Look how weak they are. I mean, I know we're a little we're a little hurt right now, but we're not that bad. Hmm. I kind of want to go for some of these guys. How are we doing in terms of uh, XP there? Yeah, we went from, I think we were like here in the level up. We almost got half a level, which at this point, we're at level 12. That's not nothing. We got half a level's worth of XP from a single battle. That's not common this late into the campaign. Okay. All right. All right. Take it. Man, I want to go for this dude. Oh, he's fast. He's a lot faster than me. Okay, let's heal up. Let's heal up. Uh, and, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Kingdom? Should be deciding who's getting Omar, right? Maybe? No? That's what I want more than anything. Uh, maybe maybe we gotta wait a couple days for it. Or maybe, it, I don't know, maybe it glitched out because we were in the, uh, the army at the time. Let's, uh, let's trade everything off. Did we get here anything crazy that we want to keep? I don't think so. Oh, this is just profit. Oh, wait, what? Huh? Oh my god, really? 9k, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. I don't mind that at all. We got a turn. Oh my god, there's a tournament going on. Can we win this too? Make a little more money? Oh, this is fantastic. This episode has been going very well so far. We haven't necessarily accomplished... <gasps> oh, never mind. It's not that great. I thought it was really good. 22, 6, and 8. I mean, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad. Um, that'd be a good suit of armor for one of our boys. Uh, okay. Am I trying to bet? Nah. We're just doing this for the armor. Oh, I got a spear. Oh, the VMP move. Absolutely useless because VMP moves are not good in in, uh, in Bannerlord, but we'll take it. Oh my God, we're actually about to take that guy out on horseback. Oh, I'm fucked against her. Who is this? Oh no, no! Leave me alone! Yeah, this is not gonna end well. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're faster than them. You're faster than them. We just need to survive blue and yellow team. This guy's shooting at me. Fuck off! Fuck off! Alright, we still got a shield with plenty of durability. We're gonna run these guys into the blue team. Then we win. Then we profit. I don't know, something. Fuck off. There we go. He's getting shot in the back. Come on. No way I actually... We managed to win this. <laughs> Let me drop everything. I don't even care anymore. Suck it, losers. <laughs> we did damage. <laughs> I can't believe we won that. Well, obviously we didn't like win-win. But we made it to the next round. 
That's awesome. All right, please, dear God, don't give me a spear again on foot. Please. Okay, we've got the axe this time. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, guy got stopped pretty hard there. Uh, I'm worried. I kind of... Oh, okay. Our horseman actually did a good job there. Okay. As long as our horse stays up and preoccupies, there are two people on foot. Oh, they've got two heroes, bro. Admittedly, one of them... Oh, oh, I almost didn't see him coming. One of them has the spear, so he's not that much of a threat. But I'm scared of the girl that has the, uh, the axe, man. She's going to be dangerous. Unless... Oh, wait, two of us have axes. They both have axes. There we go. Okay, flank maneuver. Nice, took her out. Oh, great work, man. Ooh, okay, there goes our archer. Beautiful. Okay. Still got some tough guys left. We got the Berserker on our... Okay, so if, even if we win, we got to win a 1v1 against a Berserker. I don't know how good they are, but, I mean, <laughs> he sounds decent, you know. Ooh, what the frick? We're so, we're so inaccurate. This is awful. We're so inaccurate. Oh, but our Berserker is just going to tank and win anyways. Oh, I'm scared to go up against him in the final. I think we're going to get rolled here. I think he's going to just destroy us here. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay. Oh, okay. So good first hit. Good second hit. Gotta remember though, we are we're we're starting wounded, right? Ooh. Okay, he's not. I mean, he's a berserker. He's a little reckless. He's not really blocking up like he should. There's the victory. Wow. Did not think we we're gonna win that tournament. If I'm being honest, <laughs> just around that first round started, I thought there was no way. But all right, we get the northern decorated male, some renown. How much does this sell for? Even though I oh. 50. 1,500, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, but I know what the right thing to do is, and that is to give it to Shumi, right? Yeah. All right. Now we do the process of hand-me-downs. Actually, Apis, you're not a good fighter. This would be... Oh. Whoa. Wow. She's actually got some really good uh, armor there. All right. There you go, Apis. You do get this after all. Cool, cool. Then we sell that off. All right, no real profit, but we at least uh, armor up Apis a little bit. What do we got in terms of uh, the spice vendor? 100 trade? 140 crossbow. Oh. <laughs> Is there much use to having her for trade? Is that a party? Hold on, let me check this out. Um... Party leader, trade penalty reduction. I don't think sh that helps us, unfortunately. I don't think it does. Hmm. Uh, Alright. Well, never mind. It was worth a shot. Okay, let's hang out with the army. We'll see if anything interesting happens. Hopefully, uh, this goes up for a vote, and maybe, maybe we have a chance. I don't know. Alright, there we go. Vote for the new owner of Omar. Oh my god, Durthurt's gonna give this shit to himself. Oh, Durthurt, the day I can behead you, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be such a happy man. I'm gonna be such a happy man. These guys are throwing in so much influence into this. We can't afford that shit. We need to get to at least a hundred influence before we can uh, go full on for ourselves. God damn it, Durthurt, you're really screwing me here. Oh, we abstain. Surprise, surprise. Earth goes for himself. You freaking bootlickers. <laughs> Everyone else that voted for him. Uh, Alright, well, they retook this one. Ooh, hello. Hello. Oh, he's giving up, huh? Mm. Alright, well, we'll hang out with him for a little bit. We'll see what happens. Never know. Okay, well, he ended up just walking us all the way back to mainland uh, Vlandia. That's fine. We got a whole bunch of influence for doing so. So, uh, we are just going to hang out over here, and, uh, actually, actually, it might not be a bad idea 
to uh, to try to visit a certain young lady and get to talk to her a little bit. Hmm. I think that might be the move. Also, we should probably buy another uh, enterprise at some point. Where where are our current enterprises here in Vlandia? Uh, Sarga. Oh, that's it? We only have one? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we need to start buying up some other ones. I mean, uh, Jacqueline, Yaland, uh, Praveind, those are all pretty safe fiefs. Don't really have to worry about those getting taken over, at least not in the immediate future. Um... Oh, 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 go on, go on, <sighs> please, 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 okay, so we're already in the lead, if we just, if we put influence towards it, it's not really going to help all that much, and we're just going to piss off Durther and Heckard, please, I will sprint back there right now, <laughs> right now, whoop, <laughs> That's something in my throat. I will sprint back there right now. Please, please, please. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Mazadin Castle has been given to Rolf from Rolf with majority support. Okay, we need to uh get back up there immediately. Mazadin <sighs> <laughs> that banner is gorgeous. Shit, we're on the complete other side of the map. All right, boys, pack your things. We're going right back. Uh, hopefully, a decent garrison got put there. Um, I'm actually fine if the war just were to end right now. That'd be that'd be great, actually. If we could just end the war and I could have time to just stock up my garrison, that'd be fantastic. Am I losing money? Holy shit, yeah, the wages at uh, Mazagin Castle. Oh, it has a garrison, though. Omar's being assaulted by Ragavan right now, which hopefully means they don't have a big army on our doorstep right now. We'll stop in Sionan and pick up whatever food they have. I think we're going to drop a sizable amount of troops off in the garrison at, at Mazagin Castle. <laughs> Probably. Oh, the thing is, it's 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 a border castle, and I don't think the amount of troops that we drop off, or I don't think we can drop off enough troops to make the enemies like say, make the enemies change their mind about sieging it. You know what I mean? We've only got seventy five troops. Hmm. Wow. I was not expecting that. That's big. That's very big. Give me a bunch of grain. Um. Shit, we got a ton of money. Give me all the grain. Uh, just dropped 5k on food. No big deal. We're going to be getting hella... Uh, stewardship. Or at least we should be. <laughs> we better be for that much. Alright, come on. Let's get over there. I want to see what we're working with. Did we raid any of the... I don't think we really ever raided any of these villages either. So... I think we're good in terms of relationship with them. They should like us. My right, prosperity is going down. Militia is... Pretty awful, but it'll keep going up. Who are you? Noble of Sturgia. Interesting. What's the garrison looking like here? Oh, oh my god. Hello. <laughs> why, why, hello there. Uh... I like it. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty nice. Okay, okay. All right, let's uh, let's think here. Let's drop off a bunch of these boys. Uh, all the like little units that we realistically are not probably going to level up and use, but would be but would look decent in a garrison. That's actually a lot of our range units that we probably don't want to give up. That's fine. We can always take them back out. Um, the reason I'm doing this right now is so then... Okay, so we do that. Now we go over here and we can recruit all the guys that have just been sitting here and then throw them in the garrison. This is awesome. Come back here. I need, I need all of you guys. So yeah, we recruit all these guys back. Welcome aboard. Oh, that, was that a berserker? 
Was that a Sturgeon Berserker? Like the one we faced in the... That might have actually been the guy that we faced in the finals. Actually, no. He, he was a prisoner. That wouldn't <laughs> we, we don't let prisoners fight in our tournaments. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Ignore me. I'm not making any sense right now. Oh, Imperial, Imperial Caravan cards. Two of them. Oh, that's beautiful. So we just recruited how many guys? Like, what? We had 42, I think? 26? 27 of them? Oh, that's more than we can carry. That's fine temporarily. Because we're just going to drop them off here. That's fine. Okay. Um, Yeah, throw all these boys in here. I'm, I'm almost tempted to just throw literally everyone in there. Uh, and then pick out who we actually want out of the rest. All right, 65. I think we're good running around with that number for right now. We have all the cavalry out. Um, I, I wish I could see how many of each formation we have. I want to see how many cavalry or how many range we have. Let's eyeball it. Um, okay. Not a ton. I want to have more archers, I think. Um... These guys level up, don't they? And to, yeah, better archers. Cool, so we'll take them. We want to keep leveling them up. These armed traders don't, so we can just leave them here. What are these guys? They stay the same. Imperial trained archers. We'll take you. Okay. Oh my god, the Vlatian sharpshooters. There's so many of them. That's, that's so nice. That is so nice. Okay, change, change my mind again. Uh, you're going in our party, all of you guys, and a bunch of you guys, we're, we're putting, yeah, <laughs> you guys are going back. All right, cool. Um, oh, that's so good. That's just so damn good. Uh, we can even put a bunch of them back, take all these hardened crossbow, continue leveling them up. I mean, this is just beautiful. It was nice enough that we got a castle that we took no part in actually taking. But then for us to also get... <laughs> to also get uh, a giant garrison that came with it. That's just the icing on the cake. That's just beautiful. Uh, we need a little more infantry, I think. So we'll take some of that. Take some of the... Take the, the billmen? Billmen don't have shields. We're actually not going to take you. We're going to take just the Vlandian infantry or swordsmen. Hello. Yeah. And when you drop one guy back off. Mm. Mm. You. Actually, I can drop a lot of you off. You guys are pretty garbage. Take a bunch of these guys. Wow. I'm probably going to have to spend some time in between episodes really managing this. Um, but for right now, this is ideal. This is uh, this is nice. I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> okay, gentlemen. We are in business. All right, manage castle now. We This is where we got to look, look into a little more. Um, okay. Money-wise, can we really afford to upgrade? Actually, a lot of this is decent, except for the wall is not great. Wall's a little... This has been changed since uh, Ron Baringsworth's uh, season. Interesting. Okay. I can't choose myself as a governor? No. Um, so walls now add bonus to garrison capacity, as well as, obviously, it makes the walls on the actual siege bigger. Gives a bonus to tax collection. All right, more food. I feel like, hold up, get rid of this. We need more, need more gardens. Gardens are huge. Can I make that number one? Start working on that. I don't, I'm not worried about taxes right now. We make we make a ton of money off of our uh, Rolf by Rolf uh, enterprise. I think that's what we need right now. What's the loyalty looking like? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Absolutely zero. All right, we're working on it. Militia's going up pretty quickly. Um, obviously, they just got through a siege. So their militia got wiped out there. Security's, I mean, fantastic. Yeah, we just want to get gardens going as soon as possible. And I think it might make some sense. Let's just put... Put like 2k in. That'll speed it up a lot, I think. 36 days, yeah. All right. Let's put it there for right now. 
Um, do we hang out here? Let's do some exploring around. I want to see if we can't uh, maybe do some some quests for some of these guys. Also, policies. Anyway, we can propose. Wait, I don't know. Uh, I don't have enough influence, so I can't propose it. But there is there is finally uh, majority support for making peace with Sturgia. We've actually lost more than they have, but we've just succeeded in taking more of their land. Which, uh, you know, is going to play into it. When you're sieging more, you're going to take more losses. We've got double their strength, nearly. Yeah. Well, when we're doing as well as we are, it doesn't seem likely that we're going to stop. <laughs> Okay, that's rated. I'm assuming this is rated as well. Okay, everything's rated that's connected to here, I believe. Yeah. Well, alright. Um, I kind of want to hang out in the area and just fend off any, like, small... Yeah, I think that's actually the move. Alright, what I'm going to do for a little while is I'm going to try to pick off smaller Sturgeon vassals walking around. Continue to try to charm far or farm charm through that. Uh, and then maybe once we're a little more comfortable, once the militia's up a little higher here, maybe then we go ahead and make a run um, or make a pass at, at uh, one of the, the two remaining ladies. I think that's the plan. All right. Let's see what we, see what we can do here. Well, well, well. Uh, just when I thought I was going to be hanging out here fighting by myself, there's an army over here, Vartan, and uh, there's a certain someone in this army named Sylvan. Let's uh, let's go have a chat. So for those of you who forget, can I pull up? Uh, I can. not Sylvan is one of our final two contestants in Bachelor in Cal Radia, and uh, she <laughs> she's almost the perfect match for Rolf. She is the. Uh, the Bonnie to his Clyde. She's evil. Not evil. But, uh, well, yeah, evil's a strong word. Does she care about other human beings? Not really. Is she willing to do whatever it takes and backstab people to get to the top? Absolutely. Um, yeah, she's evil. So, uh, we're really hoping this one pans out because let's be honest, Liana, I don't think, uh, I don't think Liana's going to like Rolf's dishonorable ways too much when she is generous, honest, daring, and merciful. So we really got to hope this one works out. Sylvan? Really rooting for you here. Alright. My name is Rolf. May I ask your name? I'm Sylvan of De Aramank. We received our title from the Emperor Vortius himself. Not that he had much choice about it, as he was held captive in one of our raiding ships at the time. But I'm sure he recognized the nobility of our blood. I I like her family's background as well. Can she get any more perfect for Rolf? So, you've made quite a name for yourself. There you go, Rolf. There you go. She's heard about you. Well, hey, uh, just a quick question. Um, okay, never mind, never mind. All right, you're blowing this. You're blowing this, Rolf. There's something I'd like to discuss. If you got some time. Hmm. You've piqued my interest. What do you have to say? Alright, here we go. My lady, I, I wish to profess myself your most ardent admi admirer. Ooh. <sighs> Boys, how many how many likes in order to get me to make a video of me uh, trying to pick up girls using this line right here? Using lines from, uh, <laughs> from Mountain Blade. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Absolutely not. You, you have a mighty nice head on your shoulders. <laughs> uh, yes, we are considering offers. These things are not rushed into. I agree. I agree. That's why I wish to offer you my hand in marriage right here, right now. No, 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 no. Uh, well, you know, hey, perhaps you and I, you know. Hmm. Yes. Well, I suppose I can consider your offer. Uh, that's a. Not a great answer. We meet from time to time, as is the custom, to see if we are right for each other. I hope to see you again soon. Okay, that's a little more promising. All right, and now you leave. You leave. You don't. You don't force it. You don't force it. You know, friendly encounter. You've put it out there that you're interested. Now ooh, we dip the hell on out of here. Hello, Ragavand. 
Hello, Ragavind. You guys are besieging Omar? Right in front of him? Alright. You guys are a lot braver than I am. I'm getting the hell on out of here. Dasis, who's this? Legion of the Betrayed. Ah, oh, he's a minor faction. I don't think we get charm from him, unfortunately. Which sucks, because I think he's a mainly an infantry army, right? Yeah, 61 infantry out of his 76 troops. That's a shame. Um, I think we're going to leave him for right now. Okay. Okay. That's awesome. Let's, uh... Let's keep scouting out. See if we can't find some uh, lords by themselves. Some actual lords, not mercenaries. And uh, see if we can't get some charm. We only need the charm for the big one. Uh, for when you actually have to make the the skill check. The persuasion uh, minigame or whatever. That's when we need the charm skill, really. Ooh, hello. Act oh, he's also from the Legion of the Betrayed. Dude, what the hell? Why? Oh, that's a ton of Hastati? Principes? Okay. I don't, I don't think we want to fight that guy regardless. What's with all the mercenaries? I want some actual lords that are going to give me some uh, some real charm. What do we got here? Oh. Oh, come here. Come here, caravan. Oh, you guys are in trouble. Only 28. You should have known better than that. You're in a war zone. You're traveling with only 28 troops. That's a mistake and a half. Alright. Um, oh, I got people joining us. Oh, they're going to help out. Alright, we got to flex for Sylvan here. Hand over your goods or die. We're about to show Sylvan right here what we're about. You know what I mean? We're no goody goody. We've been places, we've done th Oh, wait, they didn't. They didn't actually help out. It was just us. Well, they can still watch from a distance. She can, she can get the general gist of things. Archers. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay. Fuck. I forgot. They can stab your feet in Bannerlord. That's a thing. I don't have many cavalry. Oh, that guy's hurt. Let's follow up. If I can... Oh, he's on the ground, and he's dead. All right, boys, we're just charging in, I think. All right, just going to go ahead and... F Try not to swear as much. Try not to swear as much. YouTube's been uh, a little bit more strict recently on the demonetization. Whoop. There we go. Nice, nice. Okay, little hurt, little hurt, little hurt. Oh, no, 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 no. Back on up. Jesus, okay. I <laughs> I have a tendency to forget that this is a hardcore Iron Man. <laughs> and charge in. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. Did we, we didn't take many losses. Two? I didn't think we lost that many. What did we lose? Caravan guard and then veteran infantryman? Not horrible. And decent amount of renown and influence. Beautiful. We'll take it. And I think we're going to get some good money from this. Uh, we'll take you. Danka. And I think we can... Yeah, we can fit all these guys. Cool, cool. Beautiful. Oh, ho, ho. Hey, hey, hey. That's more like it. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead and lock all the food down. The cow sells for 350 Holy! How much do you act, how much do actual co cows cost? Like IRL, how much does it cost to get a freaking cow? What, what? What's the ballpark on that? Are we talking like, is that like a couple hundred dollars or a couple thousand dollars for a cow? I'm curious. I, hmm. Well, how much does beef? How much does beef sell for? We could probably work it out by <laughs> by backtracking through that. How much does an average cow weigh? That's a good ass question. Like just the like an average cow, probably like a little under a thousand. I'm I'm complete. I'm probably way off here. Say, like, oh my god, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I feel like it's a it's in the like somewhere between. Uh, I think it's in the roughly a thousand dollar range, like somewhere between like eight hundred to twelve hundred. 
for an average cow? Watch me be completely off, but that's that's. <laughs> for right now, while I'm uninformed and I can't look it up, that's my guess. How much can we sell this cow for, though? Where'd it go? Where'd my cow go? Oh, only 148. We're getting ripped off here. But whatever. It is what it is. Ooh. Oh, my. Oh, those tools sell for a bunch. Oh, that's awesome. How much are we going to get for all this? 4K. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, any cheap horses here? Not really. I mean, actually, the Sturgeon Trotters for only 200. That's not bad. Um, We're always looking to speed ourselves up a little bit. Yeah, we'll pick those up. Cool. Still profiting a decent amount. All right. Uh, anyone cool here that we can recruit? Those not appear so. Fine, fine. Uh, let's run and make sure we run back. We gotta constantly be. I want to constantly be scouting out the area around here. I want to know that we're uh, we're not gonna have something big headed our way. How are we looking now? Oh, prosperity's still t still taking a big hit, man. Uh, reserves are going down a little bit. I mean, we're profit. We're still profiting a decent amount every day, so we can afford to just put a bunch of money into this. The only reason I don't want to drop like 10k into this is in case we get sieged and then we just lose all the process, all the progress. Uh, our garrison is so big that it's really hurting our food. Which in turn hurts our prosperity. Which in turn hurts our food. Mm. Is there... I mean, with towns, you can just put a bunch of food in. Is there a way to do that with castles? I'm not sure. No, that's not right. I don't know if there's a way I can just like if I can just go out buy a bunch of grain and then put it in here. I don't I don't think there is, which is kind of unfortunate. Hmm. Oh well. Um. Oh, she's a lord, lord, or well, lady, lady, lady. Oh. Well then. Can I ransom you? I could just sell you off. Sell you back to your family. No need to just keep you here. Hmm. She's pretty decent. I mean, she's just going to escape eventually anyways. So we might as well take her here. We'll run over to... Uh, I guess we can go back to Pakritia. We'll run over here and just ransom her off. We'll get a little bit of uh, roguery for it. And we'll get some cash. Otherwise, eventually she's just going to escape Macedon anyway. So might as well. <gasps> the Jawal mother. Mmm. I hate the Jawal. I can't wait until we find until we marry Sylvan. And we don't have to worry about our honor anymore. And we can just start lopping off heads. And start getting some uh, notches on our, on our banner. That's what I'm looking forward to. Alright. Uh, tavern. Fifteen hundred. That's not bad. Didn't actually get any roguery for it. I mean, I'm guessing we got a decent amount of XP for that. I feel like you should get a lot of roguery XP for for literally ransoming ransoming off a, a lady or a lord like nobility. I understand if you don't get that much for troops, like for just random people, but. I don't know. There's a lot of things with Bannerlord that I think still need to get kind of fixed and smoothed out and made better. Hey, there's the level up. Uh, ooh, where are we putting this into? Okay, a little controversial choice here. I think we might go athletics almost. I want to get these. I want to get these right here. Dexterous and Endurance. Both these are nice. 3% movement speed is nice. 4 extra HP is very nice. But, you can make the argument that we should be able to get there with a learning limit of 70. You can go, obviously, a little bit past your learning limit. We should actually be able to get there without it, and the perks that come after it are not. not. Whoa, that, that one's actually pretty nice. Okay, giving your troops 2% extra HP for your entire army is nice. Well, foot troops, but... Hmm... Anything crazy good here? Prominence would be nice. If we can get to prominence. Plus one influence, and that's per day, I believe. 
I think actually, yeah, we gotta do that. We bought all the food anyway, so we might as well get as much stewardship as possible. And yeah, what, plus one influence a day it would be huge. Because right now we're just not getting. We're getting point three from feudal inheritance. The the rate at which you gain influence got nerfed so heavily since Ron Baringsworth season that uh, any way we can get a significant amount of it, we need to jump at. All right, not bad. We'll keep on going. Not sure whatever ended up happening to that army Sylvan was in. But uh, we'll give it like a week or two in game. And then we can try to find her again. But we're probably not going to get. Going to pop the question until next episode, would be my guess. If we can ch get up charm to 50, then I feel like we're ready. Okay, well, I found this poor dude. Escorios, or Exorios of, of, of the Embers from the clan of Embers of the Flame. Flame. Never heard of these guys before, but we're about to uh, stack wipe this guy real quick. Well, they look kind of fancy, I'm not going to lie, but they've got barely any troops. You may have heard of us. Men call us the Embers of the Flame generations ago, having instructed us to prepare for a great cleansing of the land. Until that day comes, we smolder in silence. But when that day comes, our righteous wrath will burn forth. Well, you know we're at war, so... <laughs> Good luck with that. Gonna wipe you guys out. Gonna go ahead and just take a little, take a little gallon of water and make sure to put those embers out. Uh, boys, follow me. Where are they? Are they gonna charge us? Or are they gonna hang back? I got like two cavalry, so I'm not too fussed about them. Oh, those guys are running away. Alright, yeah, everybody, after these guys. Look these guys up. Move out. Slow down! Get back here. Start taking sharp turns and stuff. Oh, that man went flying. He's not long for this world. Alright, crossbow time. Oh, we had shot his horse! Oh, wait, no, we didn't. No, no, that was just the... That was just us taking it out. That's what that hit marker was. There we go. Alright, they're done. Oops, no, 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 back to, follow me, follow me, wrong order, wrong order, everyone back to me. What we can do is just get close. Oh, our infantry is kind of far away still. Alright, let's try this. I think that should be all we really need here. Oh yeah, they're just running. <laughs> Oathkeeper recruit. Night night. Oof, alright, we're getting hit a little bit. Not that bad though. Good stuff. Keep it up, lads. Enemies are fleeing, no no kidding. That didn't take long at all. Well, their leader looked like he had some cool armor. If somewhat cult like, but uh they just had a whole bunch of recruits in their army, so it wasn't really all that impressive what we did there. Okay. I don't think we're going to get anything from letting them go, but we can always try. Yeah, don't get anything from from letting the mercenaries go. At some point, we're going to we're gonna need to figure out exactly who we actually... <gasps> oh! A Banner Knight! Holy! Is this for real? Oh my god. Hell yeah. Oh! <laughs> And a sharpshooter. What? Okay. That's that's pretty nice. That's that's awesome. <laughs> uh, that's our first one, I think. Look at oh, look how well armored not only he is but his horse. <laughs> oh, he's so sick. Oh, he's beautiful. Sylvan, step aside. You're no longer the most beautiful we've th beautiful thing we've seen this episode. That Banner Knight is. Is that a Jawal dude over there? Oh, another Jawal guy over here. Oh, he's going to get away. You, though. You, on the other hand, my friend. Ah, uh, but he's... He doesn't count, though. There's so... How did... How can Sturgia afford so many mercenaries? It's like all that we're encount encountering. You are not. Vashkori, you are not a mercenary, though. Alright, if we can take this guy out, we sh- 
Hold on, let me see if he has any land. We, we need to do uh, some more hypothesizing on who actually grants us charm when we capture them. Okay, so this dude is the leader of his faction. Or, sorry, not faction. Uh, household. And I don't know if he owns... Actually, I didn't check if he owns land. Hold up. He should, I would assume. Maybe not? No, they do. They, do, they have a castle. Okay. So if this guy doesn't give us charm for capturing him, then I, I don't know who does. <laughs> you know what I mean? My friend, I'd wish you peace and prosperity, but of course I don't want that. Well, at least he's honest. Why is he calling us friend? We don't have any relationship with this guy. Uh, You have a problem? Well, buddy, I can't really help you. Oh, wait, no, we are plus five with him. I'm sorry. Yield or fight. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. We got to. Uh, what does he have? I didn't actually check. Whole bunch of recruits. Perfect. Um, and some of his troops are wounded right now, too. Wow. He's kind of struggling. I feel a little bad for this, but it is what it is. All right, lads. Uh, once again, is he charging us? I believe he is. Cool. Perfect. Get moving. Infantry, move. Wall, now. Put man forward. Horse bowmen. Onward. All right. Oh my god, look at our sharpshooters. That's that's actually a very scary lineup. Of course, they're missing all their shots on these guys right now, but... They're trying their best. I'm assuming they're landing some shots. Yeah, the more these guys slow down... Oh, that's, that's a wrap for you boys. You just lost your mobility, and you are just sitting ducks. <laughs> oh, the sharpshooters. That's pretty. Alright, let's move up a little bit. These guys hiding just over the crest of that hill? No, they're a little farther back. Okay. Yeah, we'll come in from this angle, I think. Okay, they're charging us. Our infantry are really slow compared to those sharpshooters we got. The sharpshooters are like trained <laughs> trained seals. They're moving too fast. They're ahead of the infantry. Bowman, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. No, charge, 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 charge. Okay. I think we're fine. We didn't lose any of our, our uh, sharpshooters. That's what matters. Is this their leader? Is this their man right here? Oh! <laughs> oh, the flick. The flick headshot. Or actually, it was a neck shot, but still. That'll do the trick. Beautiful, beautiful. Just caught the rest up. Beautiful. How many did we lose? Two? That's not bad at all. Very nice, lads. Uh, where are the rest of his dudes? Where'd they run off to? I would just charge in. Oh, they're all over here. Eh. Free XP for our troops. Might as well let them have some fun. One of ours. Speaking of that, someone asked me to a while ago, and I've been forgetting. Where do I put the friendly troops having uh, having their own like banner above you? Isn't that a thing? Where's that at? Ah, there we go. I found it. Okay, cool. Oh, good. All right. I saw. I don't know when that got turned off, but I saw one or two of you guys in the comments asking if I could turn that back on. So hopefully this. Hopefully this makes you guys a little bit happier. I, I personally like it as well, because it helps uh, differentiate the troops. Even if it's not necessarily, like, realistic, it is uh, a nice feature to have nonetheless. Beautiful. Alright, that's good enough. Five and a half renown, five influence. Man. This has been a good episode. Alright, please, please, please. 
There we go. Five more charm. That's beautiful. If we can just get one more like that before we have to pop the question next episode, I think we're in great shape. I think we're in great shape. All right. Upgrade a bunch of these guys. What route do I want you going down? Definitely this one. Shock troop. Oh, man. Oh, those guys look sick. Those guys actually look so good. Okay. Yeah, definitely go down that route. Hunter Crossbowman, give me another sharpshooter. Beautiful. Ooh. Do I want you going to a van? No, I kind of want... No, I want sergeants. I, I, we need to have a, an infantry presence. We're on the cusp of having just too many um, cavalry as is. Can't really afford to give up too many more. Give me... Oh. Imperial or uh, Sturgeon Armed Traders. Not that big of a difference between them. Okay, how many more prisoners can I take? Only 11. Hmm. I think that. Yeah, that works. I need to remember once we start having a bunch of, uh, kind of having like an overflow of prisoners with a bunch of them that are, are willing to be recruited, but we don't have space for them, we need to remember to drop those guys off in the garrison. We're not at that right now, but just in the future. That's something we need to remember to do. Beautiful. Got some new types of horses that we got to lock down. Beautiful. All right. Nice. Okay. I... Oh! <gasps> No, my castle's been... When did this happen? No, when did this happen? Please. My friends, my allies, come help. No. No, it's being assaulted. Oh, no. No. There's so many of them, too. That's the worst part. That's the worst part of it all. They've got so many. Oh. Well, rip the castle. Well, as much as that's a big rip, uh, that's the reason why we took all the good units out of that garrison when we got given that castle. And that's why we didn't go and just drop 10k into it. Man. Ah. Uh. And, oh, the worst part is, is we can't, I don't even think we can join the siege siege, right? It'd be a land battle. It'd be a land battle. In which case, we're definitely not going to win our number three to one. Siege? That's, uh, that's within the realm of possibility we, d we defend a three to one. But, as it currently is, it's just, I mean, there's no way, right? I mean, we can't actually get inside the castle. Yeah, we have to break in to help the defenders. Yep, yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, tis a shame, tis a shame. But it is what it is. Hey, at least we made progress on Sylvan. We made a lot of money. <laughs> I'd say we, we've we've begun to to get trusted with uh <laughs> to with fiefs, but obviously that's not long for this world if we uh if we keep on losing them. It's just a shame it happened, it happened to be a border castle, man. And there's no way in, in any shape or form that we can propose peace. Even though support is going up. Well, hopefully by the time we get the next castle, we'll have 100 influence and we'll be able to do that. Where's this guy at? He's pretty far away. Mm. Oh well. Alright. Well, I'll tell you what. Give me a sec. I still want to get to tr get a capture another lord before the end of this. Oh. Oh, there's a guy over here fighting. Oh, and he just released Sylvan. Oh, interesting. Who's that over here? Legion of the Betrayed. Don't really care about you. Who's this? Hidden Hand. My Seriously, every every single mercenary they is, there is they got. Vote for the new owner of Omer. Okay, all right, well. I don't know why I'm surprised by that. I shouldn't be. Well, hey, look, who, look who's actually in this army here. Liana, our other finalist. 
Rolf, it's been a while. Uh, something I'd like to discuss. I wish to profess myself your most ardent admirer. She's actually, we've actually met her before. All right, we're considering offers. All right, yeah, yeah, you and I. Okay, we can certainly add your name to the list. Is that what I saw? That that seems a little more promising than Sylvan, which is surprising because you wouldn't think Liana would really... Well, I guess we haven't done anything too dishonorable yet. Not that she's heard about it, at least, you know. I'm <laughs> pretty good at getting rid of uh, witnesses. Okay, all right, well, we've got our options. We'll have to see how it goes because Sylvan just got released from, from the, the dungeon in here, so she should be back probably in the mainland, which I suppose... We can return there now. Um, does Durthurt hate us now? Yeah, well, not hate us. Negative three, though. He's not a big fan of us since we lost that. Ooh, hello. That's an actual lord. Come here. Ooh, Vidar's here. There's a couple guys I'm a little worried about. Nothing cool. Wow. They just broke the army up afterwards, huh? There's a lot of enemies here. I'm a little nervous, if I'm being honest. Um, mm. <sighs> ah, I don't like this. I don't like what we're doing, but we're doing it anyways. Okay. Those guys are preoccupied with the looters, which leaves this guy in a 1v1 with us. This guy looks like he'd be a clan leader. Alright. Please. If we win this and get charm, we end the episode here and we call it, call it a day. We're still definitely net positive for the episode. And a lot of things go right. I didn't even check his army comp, but I'm assuming it's not that fantastic. Yeah, I think we'll be alright. Alright, I'm gonna just move up real quick. Oh, hello, actually. Beautiful. Dude, I'm about to switch back to that other sword we had. This thing is so short. Well, it's not that short. It's just it's just short enough that we don't... Uh, we're like, we're missing by inches on a lot of hits. And it's just not worth the extra damage to be missing out on those hits. Get back here. There we go. Good stuff. Okay. This is just the same battle as last time, I think. Except this guy just has a few more troops. Are they charging? No, they're hanging tight for right now. Alright. Before we uh, piss them off and get them to attack us, I'd like to actually get our, our full infantry and archers in range and, and ready. Oh, here they come. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh... Archers right here, infantry right behind them. Alright, let's do this. There we go. Doesn't look so bad. I hit a shield. There we go, boys. Alright, there we go. Let's try this. I think that should work out decently well. I should not have just ran right in front of all of their... <laughs> they weren't even aiming at me, but I just ran right in their line of fire. That could have been bad. Alright, good stuff. Good enough. 
Beautiful. God, we're, we're raking in the renown this episode. That's awesome. We didn't lose a single troop there. That's amazing. Alright. <sighs> kidding me? Are you really not a... Oh, you're just a member. It, it has to be the leaders, it appears. It does have to be the leaders. Wait. Oh, that's so... Okay, alright. Well, I think we just proved it. It has to be the leaders in order for us to actually be able to uh, get the relationship for that. That's annoying. Alright, well, at least we've figured that out. I, I'm pretty sure. Take you... The uh, rest of you guys are kind of meh. That's all we can fit. 31 prisoners, though. Oh, baby. We just can't fit all you guys. We cannot... Alright, well, let me do some reorganizing. Alright, well, I've sorted all that out. Good enough. What do we get for money? Not bad. Britannian pony. Cool, cool. Alright. I think with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. I know it's been a longer one, but I feel like I kind of have to make them longer when I'm only uploading them once every two weeks. But for real, it won't take as long for this next one because I, I, I'm not motivated in that I want to start doing live streams. So uh, that is the plan. Next episode, we will hopefully be getting married. Hopefully, we'll get another castle. Um, and then after that, we're going to start doing live streams for both this. We're going to start up uh, a Witcher 3 playthrough because I've never done that and I've been itching to. I played through Witcher 2 in, I think, about a week, week and a half earlier this summer. And I've been, uh, oh man, I've just been itching to play with the Witcher 3 ever since. And uh, then we'll be starting up a new series on... A warband mod and I'm not gonna tell you which warband mod it is yet but I'm sure a lot of you guys in the comments can probably guess it's uh, it's one of the OG ones but until next time as always take it easy lads